We're talking about solutions for going live on YouTube from mobile devices. If you don't have at least a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel, we've looked at a bunch of options for businesses and we wanted to include a free option as well, but one that's actually backed by uh, a major player in the live streaming broadcasting industry, and that's Telestream and Wirecast. And we're going to talk about Wirecast Go. And joining us from Telestream is Stephen Haywood. Stephen, thanks so much for uh, joining us for a few minutes. Hey, Ross. Uh, thanks for having me and, and, uh, and allow me to talk about this. Yeah, so um, with with people being shut out of access all over the world who are used to using uh, mobile to go live on YouTube uh, to talk about their business. And, and, you know, it's everything from big businesses to small businesses who use it and uh, individuals and crisis situations and all sorts of things. Um, Wirecast Go is a, is a pretty user-friendly, easy app to, uh, to kind of be a workaround for getting on YouTube Live. Can you talk about how people would go about uh, using that as an alternative to YouTube's native mobile app. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And I, and I think, you know, why YouTube is doing this is because we, we've often talked about this, right? Everybody said, right. well, should I get on YouTube? And we've always talked about how oversaturated it is. And I think this is one way of cleaning it up. But here's the bad part. How do you get the next up and comers to get on YouTube, right? So you take away, you give something and you take it away, right? So what Telestream has is Wirecast Go. And Wirecast Go gives you the ability not only to go live to YouTube, and, and like Ross said, for people that are under 1,000 subscribers, but you can also add graphics and, and any kind of composed titling that you might have in graphic form. So just like Wirecast's robust layering system, you can actually do that within Wirecast Go. Now you are limited to like three layers, but mm -hmm. still – you can still get like a, a your your brand logo on the video. You can get like a lower third that you can compose and swap that in and out if you save it as a PNG. Ross, it gives you a lot of versatility. There's even replay kind of built into it, right? Wow. So you really have a, a, a nice uh, you have a nice free option to get yourself out there to YouTube in, in this scenario. And let's face it, Ross, everybody's using their phones. I'm using my phone right now because. I'm not in the studio. I have no way of setting you a signal. So <laughs> it's it's a great way that we can we can do this and accomplish this and still get high quality video, right? Right. And I mean, do you need to be on uh, Wi-Fi, or you could use you can use Wirecast Go with your with your cell connection? You can use Wirecast Go with the cell connection. Um, I actually, believe it or not, I used um, what was called an iographer. I don't know if you're <laughs> familiar with 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 oh, yeah. uh, Dave Bardo. Uh, but he has he has what's called the iographer. It's a case that you could put on your mm -hmm. phone or your iPad. And when my before live you, what I used to do is when my daughter had competitions, I would strap it on an iographer to my phone or my iPad, and I would use YouTube Live and with with Wirecast Go, and to to add graphics and that to my video, um, going live from my phone. I mean, it was the the easiest way to do it, and so. I did it over 3G. You can do it over Wi-Fi. It, it, right. It's really up to you. And then it doubles as um, that program could also work with Wirecast for Rendezvous. Right, right. And then for, I, I think, for five ninety nine with the app, you can unlock some some additional options. But if, if you're used to going live uh, on the native YouTube app, um, you can get started with Wirecast Go and you can use it ongoing for as long as you want on that on that free tier and you you upgrade your production so logos lower thirds uh i think you can add photos right if you want yep. you can switch to a picture, photo picture. or recorded video um but talk about some of the other ways that you know people can be creative with it to actually improve on you know what what they can do with their broadcasts right so as you alluded to you can add a a picture to it so you could actually do a picture in picture if you really want to like let's say like in your case, Ross, you do a lot of broadcasting uh, news reels where you tell this person going live at this time. You, right. you, know, you put their logo or their head. You can add that to it. But you mentioned about the 599 version. So what that does is it lock unlocks RTMP. Mm -hmm. Now, most of us all know what RTMP is. But for those that don't know, it's real-time messaging protocol, which basically means 
uh, it'll allow you to go to any destination that supports that protocol, which 99.9% do. So if you wanted to go to Facebook Live, you wanted to go to your own CDN, um, you wanted to go to Twitch, and there's no preset for it, you just use the RTMP settings and you can go live right to it from Wirecast Go. So for six bucks, I mean, I, heck, I work for the company and I paid six bucks. So, <laughs> I mean, you, you just, you can't beat it. So, I mean, I always suggest to people, you know, work with what you have. If you got the phone, like we're doing right now, Ross says, hey, right. can we go live and talk about Wirecast Go. It's like, yeah, absolutely. We're going to use the phone because... Right. It, you know, it's ready, willing, and able. And I know one of the things that you do um, when you when you do your studio shows is you stream not just to one primary platform, but you stream to your website, and then you send it out to every destination under the sun, pretty much. Um, yes. Can you use Wirecast Go and RTMP, say, to stream to Switchboard Live and then... Uh, distribute so you could distribute the same way from Wirecast Go as you would from from Wirecast or any other encoder. Absolutely, RTMP is so robust, and, and like you said, Ross, you could go to Telstream's cloud, you could go to Switchboard, you could go to uh, any of the other cloud-based providers that are out there, and 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 basically do that very thing. Like you, you're talking about, we're at NAB this this week. You know, if if I was doing my own thing. I can essentially take my phone, send it to the cloud service that I'm using mm -hmm. and have them redistribute it to all my destinations right from my phone with one RTMP ingestion. And so that makes my job that much easier and you're not killing your mobile broadband. Well, speaking of um, Telestream Cloud, which I, I hadn't thought of because I always think of it in tandem with the desktop version, um, mm -hmm. if somebody doesn't have uh, Wirecast 12 or the software Desktop, can they still subscribe to Wirecast Cast Crowd, uh, Cloud, easy for me to say, Wirecast Cloud, and send the <laughs> signal from their phone to uh, Wirecast, Wirecast Cloud? And that's the last time I'll do that tongue twister. Yeah, you say that three times fast. So, <laughs> uh, so with Wirecast Cloud, no, you do have to be a Wirecast subscriber. Oh, okay. It's all baked into the Wirecast application and, and UI. Uh, but that might be something cool. If, if you guys out there watching Ross's show, you think it might be something that you would like to see added to Wirecast Go, hey, listen, throw it in a feature request. Send it in to us. You know, uh, if, you never know with engineering. They might just go, wow, that's a really good idea. We hadn't thought of that. So just because we don't have it doesn't mean we won't do it. And, you know, since you brought that up, I might talk to the gurus since they're here. Uh, and I got that one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with those guys. I might actually bring that up to him and say, hey, you know, we had some requests for this. What do you guys think? So very cool on your part. We're talking with Stephen Haywood from uh, Wirecast and Telestream, and we're talking about Wirecast Go in specific uh, because it is an option uh, to get on YouTube Live without needing to use the native mobile app. So it's a workaround for the restrictions that YouTube uh, puts on accounts under 1,000 subscribers. But it's also a way for anybody going live, no matter how many subscribers you have, to professionalize uh, your broadcast. And again, it's a free app, and then you can unlock some more, uh, even more opportunities uh, to improve your broadcast uh, for five ninety nine, but you can use it ongoing for free. It's like any other encoder. It will connect you to YouTube from your mobile device and allow you to live stream uh, to YouTube, uh, to your YouTube channel.